Hello everybody, um, if you've been checking on me lately, you know I'm working on the ravine stuff uh, for the riverbeds. But uh, while that's drying, I'm starting to catch up on a few other things. So I've put the uh, same quilt batting uh, down again uh, on this side, so I just had to cut it down to the right size. Cut a little piece for over there. Um, what I did is I put the Mod Podge down. Um, fairly thick and then I just push this fabric down on top of it. Now the reason I painted the roads before was I didn't glue where the roads are so I will cut out actually once the fabric's dried and kind of stuck down um, it won't be stuck to the roads except uh, over by the bridge, the covered bridge where I had it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and let it dry, uh, trim it back a little bit more uh, pull out the paint um, and start to hit it uh, just like I did the uh, farm side so essentially this kind of greenery is going to come out to this side um, and there will be a dividing line here essentially uh, between the more rural area and transition into that and then the city so uh, on this side of things um, I'm looking at the sidewalk that I made earlier understanding the streets going to be a different color um, and I'm not too dissatisfied with that actually. Um, so I might look at ways I can stencil in the top of that so I look like I've got a cut sidewalk. Um, and then I think I'm still pretty good with that pattern with the other advice of gluing down the, uh, the foam board uh, to keep it from warping. Um, yeah, I think that'll be good. So uh, once this dries and once these guys, and this is just an update on these, you can kind of see again this is the plaster cloth this is the uh, sculpting mold and again I haven't sanded these down at all this is just kind of me pushing it into the foam that I had cut earlier um, then this is the tub of foam um, which, as it's drying, it's actually uh, feeling a little rubbery. Um, so I'll wait until it dries and see what that looks like. And again, um, so far my favorite is actually the toilet paper. So again, we're going to continue to see how that dries, but I like the way the contour uh, was presented by using the toilet paper. It's also the cheapest. So. Uh, and you can put on layers, additional layers. It's just like doing plaster work. Um, and then I'll use something to seal it a little bit later. So, talk to you later. Bye.